French startup and large language model maker Mistral just released some new features that allows you to create agents and you can do it for free. And I think there's actually some unique advantages to this versus using even uh, custom GPTs from ChatGPT or Claude projects. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you in about five minutes uh, some of the pros and the cons. We're gonna build a very quick agent live and test it and use it. So let's jump in and check this out. Uh, but real quick first, before we do, if you're new here, uh, my name's Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and careers. We do a little AI in five almost every single day, teaching you an AI tip trick. So uh, if that's helpful, please let me know, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. So we actually just did a very in-depth, and I think a really good episode today, talking about cloud projects, and we compared them to GPTs. So I think people for the most part don't think of GPTs and Claude projects as AI agents. And it just kind of depends on what you actually think an AI agent is. And that definition I think is constantly evolving. So uh, now we see this from Mistral. Um, and are these actual like agents? I mean, they talk them, they say it's an alpha release of agents. I'd say right now, maybe, maybe not. It is more just like a version of uh, GPTs or Claude projects with a couple twists. All right, so let's jump in and start looking at it. So the first thing you need to know is you need to technically have a um, subscription uh, or be on a trial. So um, I'm on a trial. So number one, you have to have account uh, for Mistral. You can sign up with your Google account as an example. Uh, then you at least need to have either a subscription to their Mistral AI API or at least a free trial. So I just signed up for the free trial. Uh, so one thing, Mistral, please change this. This is very confusing and a bad user experience. So if you want to subscribe uh, to Mistral in the long term, uh, you first have to fill in all of your information here before you even know the plan. That is a terrible uh, user experience. You're going to lose so many customers. Change that. Let everyone know. Because as far as I know, you're only paying uh, for uh, your usage via the via, via the Mistral AI API. However, the average person doesn't know that. So you need to simplify that. All right, enough of that. So what you're going to do once you sign up for that and you can do the free trial, you don't have to put in a credit card, go up here to overview. Okay. And then you're going to go to the top here and create an agent. Also, what's very important worth mentioning, should have started with this. Mistral is pretty much open source, not hundred percent, uh, but it is an open source model. So similar to, uh, meta their llama 3.1, it's open source. So you can build on top of it, fine tune it, fork it, etc. So keep that in mind. Uh, shout out to Mistral building a very powerful and good open source model in their large two. So let's go ahead and click create an agent. So we're going to do this very quickly just to show you the basics. Okay. Um, and I do believe that Mistral will be adding some features and functionality. So right now, let's go ahead and name our agent. So we're just going to say Twitter Writer 2. So I actually did a version of this just to test it out super quick because I didn't want this to turn into a 30-minute video, but we're going to make some improvements to it. All right, so here you can choose the model. The biggest, the newest, the best model is Mistral Large 2. Uh, you will see, though, the cost. So if you are going to be using this in the long term in a production environment, or if you're fine-tuning a model, you probably wouldn't want to use it like this. I'm going to be using it in their uh, La Chat platform, which is essentially the front-end chat quote unquote chat GPT version. So uh, if you were building this for production, you probably wouldn't want to use something that's $9 per 1 million tokens because that's really expensive. You might want to use this Mistral Nemo uh, or um, a fine tuned model. All right, so this is simple. You can do this. You don't have to have a whole bunch of tech expertise. All right, so this is essentially a systems prompt. So if you've used uh, Claude's projects, which I just went over in today's episode, uh, so make sure you go check that one out. Or if you use GPTs, this is essentially custom instructions. All right, so I essentially have this done. I'm just going to copy and paste it, but this is simple. Just talk to it like a human. All right, so all I'm doing here is I'm saying you're a sassy AI enthusiast uh, that writes hard-hitting tweets and Twitter threads. They're factual and promote the use of large language models. And then I'm giving it some instructions on the tone of voice. Don't use emojis. Don't use hashtags. Uh, avoid these words because they stink. Uh, avoid these words and phrases, but try to use some of these phrases. So things that I would uh, say. So this is all normal. You would have this in a GPT in uh, Claude 
uh, projects, et cetera. So here's where things get a little uh, different um, and interesting. And I love this about Mistral because this part up here, nothing special. And there's, is this an agent? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But here's where we get, uh, which I think is great. Uh, so essentially, this is some basic training for this agent. So we are going to give it, so um, the concept of shots, right? A zero shot prompt or a zero shot agent is where you give it literally no context. You don't really teach it or train it. So when we can, we can make this a few shot agent. So what that means is we can give it input output examples. So saying when someone asks this, this is what you should respond with, right? So this is something that you technically don't have, at least in this format, uh, in GPTs or in Anthropic Claude projects. Although, however, you can just type that into the system prompt. So there's pros and the cons doing it different ways, but this is the first, I think, very easy, you know, quote unquote agent maker that does take this more uh, kind of uh, prompt training uh, approach to this. So I like this. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. So we're just going to do two. All right. And I already have these done. So again, uh, here we go. And it says, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So hopefully we can hear, or, or sorry, here, hopefully you can see. Uh, okay. So, uh, you, we're going to give an example of a user input and then what this model should output. Okay. So this is pretty simple. Okay. So I'm just saying, the example user input is write me a short tweet about why AI models are smarter than humans. So this is whether you are using this or you're building it for someone else, this is an example, right? So shot is an input output example, a pairing. So, Hey, when someone asks this, this is an example of what should be good on the outside. That's like 101, uh, prompt engineering, you know, zero shot, few shot, one shot, etc. All right. So then I'm typing, uh, or, or inserting an example of what should be right. So I'm saying, uh, when the model, wish I had a little more uh, flexibility here uh, to make this a little bigger. Uh, so I'm saying when you the user says, write me a short tweet about why AI models are smarter than humans, this is the output. So I'm giving it a format. I'm giving the examples of how it should uh, how it should uh, respond. I'm going to do one more. So normally you would want to do a lot of these. I'm just I'm just trying to make this pretty short. Uh, so you understand how this works and why you might want to use this. Okay. So there we go. You can also, uh, again, again, I'm just saying, write a tweet about how old business logic doesn't exist in the AI age. And then I give it kind of a sassy, uh, little tweet example here. Okay. You can also set the temperature. So lower value makes results more predictable, higher value makes results more novel. So, uh, by default, it's set at 0 0.7, which is pretty standard. Uh, I'm going to crank this up just a tad. Uh, maybe we'll go to 0 0.8. So the results might be a little wild, but that's kind of what I want. All right. So then when you're done, you could you could still add more input output. I would like to see in the future uh, if Mistro could somehow add web access, that would be huge. Uh, the ability to um, upload documents because without those things, your use cases are a little limited. But again, this is still great. Uh, at least you can sign up for the uh, trial. It's free, open source, all that good stuff. So now all you have to do is click deploy. All right. So now it says agent successfully created. So here you're going to need this. So this is just if you're using it via the API. So we're we're going to use it in La Chat. All right. I'm not French, uh, although I've been watching a lot of the Olympics recently. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and click La Chat uh, and then click deploy. So here's why we're doing that. Now, when we go into La Chat, so um, now I'm just asking the normal model. Okay. And so I'm going to say, the normal model, write me a short tweet about why AI models are smarter than humans. Okay. And I'm probably going to get something that's not that great. All right. This isn't good. Um, not great. This is not what we wanted. Right. But because I took some basic, so some very basic steps to quote unquote, train this little agent. Now I can talk to that agent. Um, I'm actually curious. I haven't tested this out. I'm wondering if I can at mention an agent. Um, Okay. So it doesn't look like I can. That's okay. That's another uh, mistral. That would be another great thing that you could do. Also in the future, if you could uh, talk to multiple agents, like you used to be able to use three chat GPT plugins at once, that would be great. So again, uh, in chat GPT, you can mention different, you know, agents or GPTs in the same conversation, only one at a time. Uh, so same thing in mistral, you can create, uh, it looks like an unlimited number. So uh, here's our Twitter writer too. 
All right, and I'm gonna do the exact same uh, the exact same response there, and hopefully we'll get something a little better. Uh, we'll see if it spits it out to verbatim uh, to my example. If so, I'll just try something else. All right, so hopefully we'll be able to see the difference. Um, all right, so this is this is this is pretty good. Um, so it says y'all think humans are smarter than AI. LOLs, wake up. So these are the examples of the things that I said. Hey try to include these types of words. So this is pretty good. So now I'm going to have this conversationally. So I'm going to say, good. I'm going to say, uh, make it longer, um, make it a longer thread and go into more detail about how large language models handle knowledge work well. I'm going to say, keep it spicy. All right. So now I'm still talking to my, uh, to my Twitter writer there and it's doing it. It's doing it much better, right? It's, it's really using the, uh, which from a prompt handling uh, or, or sorry, from an instructions handling uh, perspective, this agent does really, really well. So uh, I, I, I have a similar version of this in Claude, uh, Claude projects from Anthropic, and it doesn't really do a good job with the uh, instruction handling. Uh, if I did this exact same one copy and paste, I would not be getting uh, outputs that are this quality. So this is pretty good, at least according to what I put in there. All right. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, if you haven't used uh, Mistral or La Chat from Mistral, definitely worth checking out. Their new uh, large two uh, model that they just released is benchmarking uh, pretty, pretty well. And this agent here is based off of that. So uh, I hope this is helpful. If so, let me know in the comments. Do you want to see more from Mistral, Llama, Gemini, chat GPT, I don't know, mid journey runway. What do you want to see? Let me know in the comments and also go to your everydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. When you do, there's actually a little surprise. You can get access to a free prompting course. So, uh, thanks for sticking around for 12 minutes. Hope to see you back for another AI and five. Thanks y'all.